Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and I had a dream. Now listen, for those of you who are trying to serve the Lord, who are seeking God for your calling, ask God to give you dreams. Ask God to open your eyes to things. He can talk to us in our sleep. Now, there are things that may happen in the future dealing with the, the uh the tribulation period because we're in the last days and we know that but there are things and ways God may use us in ways that we have never even thought of and one of the things he showed me in this dream that I had was I was battling evil in the dream and I it was dark it was a dark period in that dream and I was praying this kind of a prayer I was whirling my hand around me like that and I said Lord surround me cover me with the blood of Jesus surround me Lord with your power with your angels with with holy fire surround me put a bubble around me Lord of supernatural protection against all evil at all times in Jesus' name. Make that bubble impenetrable to evil at all times in Jesus' name. And I remember as soon as I got through saying that prayer, I saw some people coming. And in the dream, I knew they were agents of the devil. I knew it instantly. And they were talking to each other, trying to figure out how to get, uh, how to, get to me. And then I asked God, Lord, make me invisible to the enemy. Make him never be able to aim and shoot at me and hit me. Make me invisible. I mean, all these thoughts were coming to me to say to God. And they walked past me. I'm standing right there. They never saw me. They never saw me. Just like when Jesus walked through the crowd that wanted to throw him off the cliff. He walked right through him, and they never even touched him, never saw him. Well, I asked God to make me invisible to the enemy, so the enemy can never touch me. And that's a good prayer to pray in these last days. I said that to say, your prayers need to be more creative now, because you have no idea what kind of... of uh, strategies the enemy has lined up for God's people, for people, period. So we've got to be more cunning in our prayer request to God. God answered that prayer in that dream. They couldn't find me. They looked for me. They were asking people in the vicinity and couldn't see me. And I'm standing right there in, in, in pure, in open. I mean, they, all they had to do was look. They, but they couldn't see me. So God can protect us in the craziest, most supernatural ways. If we have a mind to imagine it, God can do it. Now, what does Ephesians say? He could, he'll do abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. So have enough faith and enough power going on inside where you can pray those crazy prayers and expect God to answer them. God bless you in these last days because we're going to need his supernatural protection. We need it now, but we're going to really need it then. Amen.